Hi, I'm Ketsy. Welcome to my channel, Candid Crafter. Recently, I picked up a new watercolors palette, and it's my first set of professional watercolor paints by Da Vinci. It's an artist curated palette. So in today's video, I'll be swatching and doing a review of this watercolor palette and giving you a little bit of background about um, why I chose this palette and as well as doing a little sample painting with the colors. So if you would like to see or hear my insight about my new watercolors and see the process of me painting this cute little guy, sit back, relax, and let the crafting commence. So I started off by rearranging the half pans in the way that I wanted the colors to go and the way that I decided to organize them is to split them into two groups um, of rainbow order. So the first rainbow would be all of the brighter colors and then the second rainbow is the more earthy slash desaturated slash just darker rainbow colors. So for example, on the top I have cerulean blue hue and underneath of that I have um, thalo, turqu thalo turquoise. So um, I did. I chose this order because a lot of the colors, uh, not a lot, but some of the colors are so dark you can't really tell what color they are. And for me, for me to be able to know where they are in a generalized location, the best order for me to do that in is rainbow order. But because there's 24 colors, rainbow order could get a little bit confusing, so I split it to have two rainbow orders, one on top, one on bottom, and this just made it easier for me. Alright, so right off the bat, swatching these colors, I'm noticing that it takes just the smallest amount of water and only one or two swipes to get pigment on your brush. These are really, really pigmented colors. They're really, really easy to re-wet. And I really enjoyed the swatching process, not only seeing the beautiful colors, but also just working with professional watercolors. This is the second watercolor set that I've purchased so far, which leads me into the reason why I bought this palette. So this palette is the Da Vinci's Earth Friendly Palette by um, Da Vinci Paints. And it was curated by Denise Sodden from um, In Liquid Color here on YouTube. And this palette is specifically geared towards people who want to use not only vegan paints, but also want to use earth friendly paints. Because as we all know, sometimes the pigments that are used in watercolors are not earth friendly and they can actually be kind of harmful to the environment. So the biggest reason I purchased this was one, it's vegan, and two, because it is earth friendly. One thing that my dad always taught me growing up was to do your own research. Um, not saying that Denise is not a reputable source, because she is, but I went ahead and did my own research as well, just to make sure that this was something that I wanted to purchase. So, I looked into the pigments, um, and the website I used, I can't remember the name of the website, but I'll link it down below. And the website I used had a list of all the pigments, pretty much, that are used in painting, in, well, in paints, um, whether that be artist paints or, like, paints for cars or whatnot. And they have a rating for how environmentally friendly they are and the MSDS sheets for each, well, almost each of these pigments. So when I looked through there, um, it made a lot of sense as to why she picked the colors that she did. So I would recommend doing your research on your palettes, on your colors, on your pigments. If sustainability, eco-friendliness, and veganism is something that you want to incorporate in your artworks, so after doing my research, I determined that this was the palette that was for me because at first I thought, well, maybe I will make my own palette and like buy individual colors. But this turned out to be the more economical reason, which brings me to how much this palette cost. This palette cost $99, which is kind of expensive. However, it is artist grade paints and the palette is earth friendly and vegan. Um, they have three options on how you can buy this palette. You can either buy the palette with the filled pans like I did for $99 or you can buy the fill and paint set which comes with a palette and then you have to fill up the pans and put the pans in the palette yourself that one is about $160 and then on top of that they have just the paint tubes which is um, labeled as the refill set for this which is about $130 ish dollars 
I really, really wanted to get the paint and fill one, but it was not in my budget, unfortunately. Um, um, I'm grateful for what I did get. Alright, so when I think of earth-friendly, sustainability, veganism, and all that, I think of the Amazon rainforest, I think of the ocean, and I think of various African countries in terms of conservations and um, the animals and such, whatnot. I knew for this painting that I wanted to do something colorful because I wanted to use as many colors as possible. So that eliminated the ocean because that's pretty much just blues. And I eliminated African animals, any type of African animal really, because you know giraffes are golden and orange, elephants are one color, lions are maybe two colors. Um, so that left me with the Amazon, which has like some of the most colorful animals on earth. So to determine what I was going to paint, I went to unsplash.com and I typed in Amazon Rainforest Animals, <laughs> and the first thing that popped up is this bird, which I think is a macaw, I cannot be sure. It didn't really have the exact name of the animal, but I chose this one because it not only had different colors, but it looked pretty simple, pretty easy. I just chose a little scrap piece of paper and I went to town on this little bird. And again, I really, really like how these colors work. They are so, so, so easy to re-wet. They're really, really pigmented. As you can see, I watered them down a lot and then I layered a lot and it's still pretty, it's pretty pigmented. Like the colors are still vivid and bright. And that's with me watering it down. And I'll show you at the end, like how much paint I used on my little mixing palette wells or whatever. And it really was not that much. So I can see this paint going a long, long way. So not only are the pigments in these paints earth friendly, but it's also earth friendly because it seems like these colors and in general da Vinci's paints will last you a pretty decent amount of time because you don't need that much for the, the color payoff to be vibrant on your picture. All in all, I really, really like these paints. I could be biased because the only other paints I used are the Kudatake Gansai Tanbai, Tanbi, Tanbai, um, and those are pretty good paints, but these are exceptionally better <laughs> in my humble opinion. So again, I could be biased because I've only ever used two types of watercolors, minus the cheap watercolors they let you use in school, because I'm not even going to count those. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these. Um, I'm really thankful to Denise for making this palette, for curating this palette, because if I had to buy each and every one of these colors on my own, it would have cost, at the very least, $200, I think. That's all for today's video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, but only if you want to. I also have a video up of me unboxing this, so if you would like to see that in my first impressions, it'll be linked right now in the upper right hand corner. But with that being said, you never have to be the best, just try your best, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Someone's calling me from Pennsylvania. I don't know anyone in Pennsylvania.